Coach Douglas, last year at Cleveland St. Ignatius High School, you and I talked about wrestling in the West is in huge, huge trouble. And it's even in worse trouble now and in peril from the, you know November of, of 2008 when we talked last. But Cal State Bakersfield just drops. Uh, talk about you know what's it going to take to keep and preserve wrestling in the West. You got to find Lisa Loves. You got to find Art Martori. You got to find the Jerry Colangelo. I know it, it's hard to do, but I don't think that you're going to find a wrestling program that can survive without a guardian angel. And that Art Martori individual, uh, Lisa Love. Lisa Love. You know what? I, my hats off to her. She she did something that very few athletes. I don't think another athletic director would ever do that. She's a woman. She believes in diversity. I think we're missing the boat. Wrestling is the most diverse sport on earth. We've got to sell that and market it to America. Diversity is good for America. Wrestling is, is, is great for America because of its diversity. We need that diversity for the future. We've got to find people that believe in diversity and get them into positions where they won't let a sport like wrestling die. Are you saying integrating more more women dressing? You gotta get you gotta get more women involved. You gotta get more minorities involved. Now, I mean the minorities are involved now, but you gotta get more of them involved. Because that's really one of their only short tickets out of the ghetto. Out of the burials. Out of hell. Wherever it may be. This wrestling can do that for you. It can take you out of that give you an education first of all, and that's the most important thing you can do for any kid. We can we, there's nothing we can do other than give them an education and hope for the best. As a wrestler, they got a better chance of getting that education than any of those other sports. Do you feel like it's what took you out of Bridgeport, and is that why you want to give back so much to the Ohio Valley? I think the thing that most affected me was my high school coach, George Kabalik, who unselfishly gave everything that he had to sports programs and kids around the valley. He was the greatest example that I could use for a mentor. He made me want to be a teacher and a coach because I wanted to do for kids what he did for me. I had, people don't realize what poverty is. I understand poverty because I was raised out of poverty. I was plucked out of poverty by a guy like George Cavalli. There were others, all of them were my teachers. Those are the people that showed the most interest in me, and that's why I want to be a coach. That's why I want to give it back. I'm, I have a responsibility to do that. Do you think, ultimately, is there a quick fix right now for, for Bakersfield and Duquesne? Can, can they bring them back or are they gone? No, they're done. They're gone. They'll Even never, if they raise the money? They'll never come back. You, you have to understand, athletic directors don't really want the program to come back. you got to force it back. And you got to have somebody like Art Martori to do that, and Jerry Colangelo. You don't have a you don't have a big boy like that behind you. You're not going to bring it back. And people outside of the wrestling community don't look at and appreciate wrestling the way we do. They they're afraid of wrestling. They don't like the wrestling attitude. That's sad because 13 presidents were wrestlers. You look at all the records in the military. They're held by wrestlers. The Marine Corps, all their records were broken by Greg Gibson, a wrestler. And I heard another wrestler broke some of his records. The fact that wrestling is good for America, wrestling is good because of its diversity, wrestling is good because it educates our kids. You know, I hate to sound like a, a broken record or a broken preacher, but the fact is, we need this sport. We need this sport. And the kids in the Valley deserve to have the equal opportunity to compete for scholarships and to compete for gold medals. You got anything else for me? No, I mean, I get hot. I get start talking, I get pissed off because I, I, I'm upset about the way wrestling's treated. You know, I, I, I don't have any way of, uh, of doing much to change that other than coming back to the Valley and raising hell. I want to see an Olympic Regional Training Center here, and I'm going to be very actively involved in it. I'm going to see if we bring out some more Division I national champions. We're going to develop some world-class wrestlers here, and we're going to develop some world-class mixed martial arts fighters. I taught mixed martial arts for eight years. 
I will come back here and we will put together the best mixed martial arts program in the world. And there's tons of people around here that are dying to help us. This place is a hotbed of athletes. They're just unexposed and they don't get an equal opportunity. We're going to change that. Yep. All right, Coach. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks. Thank you for the time, man. I, I love yeah. sitting down and talking to you. Well, I get upset when I start talking. It pisses me off the way we're treated. And I, I, I you know, the uh, the assistant coach at Ignatius passed away. You, you know? Did you know that? Yeah. Uh, it was such a tragedy. I, I felt so bad about that. He was a great guy. Well, so, let's. We want to get in and watch this duel. Oh yeah, let's, let's go. check it out. All right.